Hey, hi, I'm Mona. This is to chat. You guys have to read the book of Nahum. Nahum? Nahum. I just read that and it was so shocking. It was so shocking because it kind of correlates to what I want to talk to talk to you guys about today. About this epiphany that I felt, you know, the, about something I need to speak about, you know. Read it. It's only two pages, but it will shock you. It will shock you. It's early and it's not even hot, but I'm feeling like a hot flash. Anyways, the message that I got today is for someone. I don't know who, for anyone, it can be for anyone, but it was told to me like this. <laughs> Stop thinking about those people who hurt you. Stop feeling like you are a victim. Start living your life and live it wholesomely with goodness and trust that you are protected. There's always someone watching, always. God is always watching. God knows who has hurt you. You don't need to take vengeance on anyone. You don't need to go after anyone who has hurt you. Leave it alone. If you're doing all right right now, but you're having problems because you're still thinking about how they hurt you, how they deceived you, leave it alone. God will take care of things. Put your faith in God. It's important. You are not the judge or the jury of anything. Those who have hurt you will get what they deserve. Don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. Have faith. This was the message that I was feeling. Somebody out there, somebody might be feeling, oh, you know, I hope they get, they're going to get what they deserve. You don't have to hope for that. The only thing that you should hope for is, you know, I hope they find the way. I hope they find the right way. I hope they find the truth. And I hope they live in that truth. Because like I've said before, I'm a, I'm a really big believer in karma. You don't need to try to get anybody in trouble, right? You don't need to try to say bad things and 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 do mean things to make someone else feel bad you don't you don't ha don't worry about it leave it alone step away from it and go live your life somewhere else and be happy somewhere else you don't need to be around those those people who took advantage of you we live in that every day like this book says god will take care of those who have hurt the innocent. That's what that's all about. Really, when you read it and you think, like as I was reading it and I read through the first chapter, I was like, oh, shoot. And then I got to the second chapter and I was like, oh, my goodness. And then by the third chapter, I was like, oh, God will take care of it. And yes, this is a little bit about, oh, there she goes again. I can't help myself. This, the book of Nahum, Nahum, I don't even know how to pronounce it right, is, is shocking to me, especially since what I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. Don't worry about those who have hurt you. You were probably one of the innocent. Somebody probably stole your innocence. Somebody probably stole your voice. They stole your life somehow from you to keep you down. And to keep you traumatized in that state, don't do it. It will be taken care of for you. Put trust in that. Go out and heal yourself. Be happy. Enjoy your life. Whether you have a lot or you have a little, it doesn't matter. Do what you can to help yourself to be happy, to be honest, to be pure. Help others as best you can, whether you have something or not, even if it's just talking to them giving them hope, motivating them, anything you can do 
you know, out of the goodness of your heart, like I do here. This is why I don't monetize. I don't accept money from anyone. You know, if I'm out and about and somebody wants a reading and they look like they're hurting or something, I will read them a story and I will try to help them through it because normally, usually they all resonate with it. You know, the cards will always help someone resonate with something. It's just a story, though, and it could resonate with a lot of people because a lot of people have been hurt. Don't take retaliation on anyone. Don't slander anyone. Don't throw anybody under the bus. Just go live your life and be happy. Okay? Stop thinking about how you were hurt and stop living in that misery. Because the more you think about that stuff, the more your misery is increased. You know? It affects the way you look, how you feel, what you put in your body. You know, like, oh, they hurt me so bad. Maybe I'm worthless. No, you're not. No, you are not. You are valuable. You are good. You are kind. And that's what Jesus was trying to teach us. Be good and be kind to the fellow man, to our brothers. Always give praise to God. All that good stuff. Just keep doing that. Because God has a plan. Anyone who has hurt you, they will receive some sort of karma. Look at that light. Look at that light. They will receive the karma. Maybe somebody stole from you. They stole land. They stole assets. They stole whatever from you. Who cares? Let them have it. God will reward you in other ways. It doesn't matter. But the more you fight, the more your ego is up there, and the more you do evil and try to hurt innocent people, ooh, watch out. Look at how that light is shining on me as I say this stuff. Watch out for all you people who are against God or who are, you know, not doing the right thing. Watch out because God is watching. I know I read this book and I don't believe every single little thing from it because some of it is kind of odd, but the basics are here. The basics are here. Don't do bad stuff. Don't do bad stuff. Don't slander people. Don't hurt people. That's slandering. That's like a witch, witchy thing. That's a witchcrafty thing. Say good things about people. And it, like, like maybe someone has told you in the past, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Now, if you're explaining something about what happened to you because it will help others because they see you get over it, you can speak about that. You don't have to say names or this specific. You can say this happened to me, but I made it through. I made it through because of Jesus's words. I made it through because I believe in God. I made it through because my angels watch over me and they gave me the strength to have a clear mind and to focus and to understand. And once you get there, you're going to be like, oh, my right hand is very itchy right now. <laughs> They're going to think like, oh, okay, I know what happened. You know, those people who hurt you in the past, they had a chance to repent. They had a chance to change their ways, but they didn't. And if they didn't, they will suffer the wrath of God. Right? politics constantly hurting the innocent something is going to happen something is going to happen politicians are going to go down people with anger are going to go down anger and ego and selfishness they're all going to go down somehow right you don't know how i don't know how and honestly i don't care because it's none of my business all I know is that God is good. God protects. God is the light, right? Like Jesus is the light. Jesus shows us the way, what we got to do. 
in order to be, I guess, saved or whatever, right? Yeah. So this was the message for someone. Basically, stop living in the victim mentality. Stop being like, I am a victim of, you know, this and this is why I'm so like this in my life. You don't need to be so like that in your life. Depressed, sad, can't move. Oh, they took advantage of me. Well, how about you start to take advantage of yourself and make yourself happy again? It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be kind. It's okay to be honest. God will reward you and give you what you need to be happy. It's not always money. It's not always money and riches. That's the ego. What it is, is how you treat others. How you live your life through happiness and joy and spreading that happiness and joy to others. Trying to help those who are hurting. To make them feel better and know that they have hope. That there is hope to find better. Don't live in the sadness of what happened to you in the past. You can overcome that. And that's what the message is. Just get over who and what has hurt you in the past. Understand it and forgive them. Because they not they do not know what they do. These are people who don't want to heal who don't believe in God, who just keep causing pain and suffering on others. Leave them alone because you're not that person. If you're watching this, you're probably a really good person. You care for others. You're very empathic. You know, you may feel other people's pains and you want to help them with those pains. Keep doing that. Help your fellow man. Don't hurt them. That's not what we're here to do. We are here to uplift anyone and everyone we can. And I just saw number one, two, three, four. Okay. And that's a sign to me that I am going in the right direction. The direction of trying to motivate people to help each other. And it doesn't have to be, like I said, through money. It could be information. It could be kindness. Somebody might just need a hug. Give them the hug. Give them the hope that they need to move forward in a positive way, even though they've been hurt. But you don't have to live in that hurt. Go out there right now and be happy. Go out there and be kind. And go out there and be helpful to anyone you can. Just don't do it to your detriment, right? Because you might go out there and try to help people and then you see like they're not doing anything about it or maybe they're mad at you for telling them to do better. They are not on your side. Know when to step away. That's another thing. You can only do so much. And sometimes when you interact with somebody and you have that little conversation and you walk away, maybe that's something that, that helps because then that person will think. They will think about it like, you know what? That person was right. I don't need to live in this pain and suffering. I don't need to be taken advantage of anymore. I can go figure this out myself and I can rise up by myself. That's what you're supposed to do. Rise up, be positive, motivate others, share love, you know, and kindness, and everything will work out. It may not happen now or tomorrow or in a month or even a year, but it takes long for people to heal. And if it's taken you long, you might be going through that healing process. Continue your healing process. 
Continue understanding yourself and your traumas and get through it. Those who hurt you, they hurt you. Okay, don't live in that. Break that generational curse of living in that hate, anger, and distent. Don't, don't live in that. That means it's time for you to start finding happiness in your life. And when those things happen, you start drawing in the good people. The good people start showing up. The people who have healed just like you. Hey, make a group of healers. Make a, a group that goes to others to give them motivation. They have that. That's like what these, uh, you know, these talks are about on YouTube. You know, people talking to try to uplift others, talking about their stories and how others can do it too. You can do that out here too. Sure, maybe you ain't getting paid for it, but trust me, you will get paid eventually because God is watching. So I guess that's all I have to say about this. That book, the book of Nahum is a trip. God is watching all those people who hurt the innocent and those people are going to go down. And if you are one of the innocent, just sit back. Don't get involved. <laughs> Just sit back and live your own pure life like you've been doing and, and you will be rewarded with happiness, you know. You will be happy. You will be content. You won't be hurting, hopefully, because you've been going through the trauma healing that you should be. And good things happen when you heal yourself. You can turn around and you can start to heal others. I don't know how all this came out. It probably came out all jumbly and mixed up or whatever, but I hope someone out there gets the hint or gets, a, you know, an idea. The main focus here is stop dwelling on what happened to you in the past and start healing your future. You don't need to live in that depressive state. Go find your happiness and go be happy. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I think that's what my mom was trying to say. Sometimes I think about stuff that happened to me and how people treated me, but I get over it pretty quick because I've forgiven, you know, and I know somebody did something to that person. They don't know any better. They didn't want to heal themselves. They stay in that state. So I'm just going to leave them there and I'm going to go over here and live my life different. You can do it too. So yeah, that's all I have you guys. This is Chit Chat. I'm Mona, and I'll talk to you guys next time.